The DBI Sala LadSafe is a permanently installed ladder safety system designed to work with many different styles and lengths of ladders on structures like wind turbines, communication towers, buildings, water towers, and more. While installing the system, be sure to wear the proper safety gear. Refer to the user instructions, which were included with your system for detailed instructions. Position the top bracket on the ladder, preferably in the center, and hand tighten the rung clamps so the bracket is secure, but the fasteners are not too tight. It is important to tighten the fasteners in a diagonal pattern, starting with the top left, then move diagonally to the lower right, then the top right, and finish with the lower left. Torque the fasteners to 20 to 25 foot-pounds, or 27.1 to 33.9 newton meters, in the same diagonal pattern. Pulling the cable from the outside of the coil, feed it up through the top bracket. Pass the cable through the shock absorber and through the carrier clamp. If your system includes a stainless steel clamp, it will have already been swaged onto the cable at the factory. Slide the shock absorber over the carrier clamp until it's secure. At least one inch, but no more than two inches of cable must protrude through the carrier clamp. Place the shock absorber into the bracket and install the cap by seating it firmly onto the pipe. Install cable guides approximately every 25 feet along the carrier cable. Be sure that the cable will not abrade against the structure. Additional cable guides can be added when needed to prevent this. Place the guide onto the ladder rung and hand tighten until it is secure. Insert the cable into the guide. Torque the fasteners to 20 to 25 foot-pounds or 27.1 to 33.9 newton meters. The bottom bracket should be positioned to allow users safe access when connecting to or disconnecting from the system. Attach the bracket toward the bottom of the ladder making sure it is mounted in line vertically with the top bracket. Hand tighten the fasteners just until the bracket is secure. Torque the fasteners in the same diagonal direction as the top bracket to 20 to 25 foot-pounds or 27.1 to 33.9 newton meters. Insert the cable through the top of the tension rod with the saddle clips loosely against the cable. Slide the tension rod through the hole in the bracket. Add the washer and nuts to the bottom of the tension rod. Torque the saddle clip to 35 foot-pounds or 47.5 newton meters. Tighten the tensioning nut until the ring on the tension indicator is sheared off and you hear a popping sound. Then tighten the jam nut at the bottom against the tensioning lug. Cut off excess cable just below the lower saddle clip. Install the system label, which includes an inspection and maintenance log and an iSafe enabled RFID tag onto the ladder. Mark the label with the installation date and number of users allowed in the appropriate locations. Inspect the system under the installation checklist at the end of the user instruction manual. Check to ensure all fasteners are in place and properly tightened. Ensure the carrier cable is properly tensioned. Do not use the LADSAFE system if the bottom of the cable is not secured and tensioned with the bottom bracket assembly. For cables terminated with a carrier clamp, the cable should extend above the carrier clamp one to two inches or two and a half to five centimeters. Ensure the carrier cable does not abrade against the structure at any point. And finally, ensure the system information is recorded on the label and inspection log. Inspect the system before each use. To use, simply attach the LADSAFE detachable cable sleeve to the cable and climb. If you have any questions on the use, care, application or suitability of this safety equipment, please contact Capital Safety for assistance.